Good day everyone. So it's been a while since I made one of these videos. Here I have my uh, Nissan Leaf with a very weak 12 volt battery. If I zoom in on this little meter I have plugged into it, you'll see that it indicates that the battery voltage is quite low. Being that the Leaf doesn't require too much, much power from the 12 volt to start up, it's still currently working, but it is a, a risk using a very weak battery like this. I'll go ahead and power up the, the leaf and you'll see what happens. So as you can see, the 12 volt DC to DC converter has kicked in and I've got good power now on the 12 volt battery. If I turn the car back off, the voltage on the 12 volt battery quickly decreases below where it's supposed to be. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to substitute the 12 volt battery temporarily with one of these small 12 volt lead acid batteries just to see how much current actually gets drawn by the car when it powers up and also on standby. To do so I'll use one of these little watt meters. As you can see, it's reporting 12.92 volts. So this is fully charged. It just came off of a uh, trickle charger. So we'll plug this in and then remove the terminals from the 12 volt that acid. So now the car is being powered up by the, uh, the small 12 volt battery and the big 12 volt battery is disconnected. So as you can see, the car even turned off is using about four watts. Let's turn the car on and see what is the peak current draw just to turn the car on. So as you can see, the car pulled 15.5 amps peak. Now, you have to note that this meter is uh, uh, directional, so it will only count the uh, current being drawn from the battery and not the amount of current being pushed back in. So right now, the car is actually uh, charging up the this 12 volt battery. You can see the voltage has now dropped, dropped down. The uh, DC to DC converter first tries to charge up the, the voltage the battery to a higher voltage and then once it's charged up it just maintains the uh, the battery so it seems like it's not drawing any power that's only because the car is actually currently charging the 12 volt battery so now what I'll do is I'm going to turn the car off and I will leave it overnight to see um, how much the, power, the car actually draws the 12 volt battery The accessories uh, were drawing a bit of power. You heard them clicking off, but it's still currently drawing one amp. Okay, it's now been about one hour since the power the car was turned off, and the current draws right about 1.5 watts. So, out of curiosity, I want to see what happens when I use the app and refresh the status of the battery. So it's looking like already the computer's turned on and it's probably responding to my request. And as you can see, it has refreshed. The battery is currently at 50%. And the current draw has gone back down.
but it seems like it takes a little while before it, it actually turns completely off and goes to sleep because it's currently still drawing about almost three watts now let's uh, let this go overnight and we'll see tomorrow what uh, how much power it's drawn so you can see here it has drawn 0.2 or, or 3 watt hours it's been about 15 hours and the car as you can see is still consuming about 1.5 watts so I guess that's probably the minimum the car uh, will draw so over the 15 hour period the car has pulled 2.4 amp hours and so we divide that by 15 hours is roughly uh, 0.16 amps which is roughly what you can see here so on average uh, over long periods of time you can figure that the car uses uh, 0.16 amps and if you multiply that by 24 hours you're under 4 amp hours for the whole 24 hour period now the car this is a 2014 Nissan Leaf I'm told it will recharge the battery using a DC to DC converter uh, every 24 hours if the car is left uh, unused so you'll see a uh, flashing light on the dashboard the right most flashing light uh, will flash I've seen it on occasion um, now I'm not exactly sure if it, it is supposed to be every 24 hours but let, let's assume so so if the car uh, recharges the batteries uh, the, the 12 volt battery every 24 hours uh, we can assume that all we need, uh, in theory, is a 4 amp hour battery. Now, why, why, did, why did I do all this calculation? Well, this my, I know this uh, 12 volt battery, my lead acid battery is uh, pretty much dead and uh, needs to be replaced, but I don't want, like, I don't want to buy a, uh, an old technology lead acid battery. So I'm thinking of building a pack using these cells. So these are lithium iron phosphate batteries. These come from uh, a previously used back, so they're not full capacity. And so I wanted to know roughly how many of these batteries I need to put in this pack. So the next step in this project is to build a pack using lithium iron phosphate batteries.